In Canada, a thumbs up emoji can be considered as a signature. A Saskatchewan judge says that an emoji can amount to a contractual agreement and order a farmer to pay more than $82,000 for not delivering a product to a grain buyer. After being sent the contract and asking if he agreed to it, he texted back a thumbs up emoji. And the farmer's just like, nah, man, a thumbs up emoji doesn't mean yes. I deny that he accepted the thumbs up emoji as a digital signature of the incomplete contract. I did not have time to review the Flax contract and merely wanted to indicate that I did receive his text message, which, you know, good argument, but... And the judge ruled this way because courts rely on the most common use of a word, or in this case, emoji. With the lawyer even referring to Emojipedia in court. With him giving the example of saying, if we're going to go for dinner tonight and I say to meet you at this restaurant and you send a thumbs up back to me, what does that mean? It means yes. And he even went so far as to make his point by pointing out the statute of fraud which dates back to the 1600s, at which point many people were illiterate, and it said that drawing a squiggle, making a thumbprint, or any other indication that somebody agreed to a document amounted to a signature. Like, for example, in Canada, you can technically sign something with an X. For all those people who are saying, Oh, well, if you don't learn cursive, how do you learn your signature? Definitely gonna ruffle some feathers with that one. What do you guys think? Should a thumbs up emoji be considered a response of yes in a legal contract? What do you think?